Thank you for watching TVW at Large. I'm your host, Dave Martinson. For today's story, we traveled to Spokane to learn more about the newest medical school in the Evergreen State. The Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine is now open and operational, located at Washington State University's Spokane campus. It was the namesake of the College of Medicine, the late former WSU president Elson S. Floyd, who first crafted the vision of having a second medical school in the Evergreen State. I still remember when he came up with that idea, and I think a lot of people challenged him on that and doubted that, but he never stopped fighting. And I think that it's because of his leadership and determination that myself and my 59 other classmates are able to be here today and having these opportunities that we wouldn't have had otherwise. Just so excited to be able to be in the inaugural class of the Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine and help to carry on his legacy. Dr. John Tomkowiak, Dean of the newly opened Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine, indicated the school is looking to target underserved communities. We're the Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine and our mission is to serve the entire state, uh, every single county, and we want to really target those challenging healthcare environments uh, across the state and bring solutions. Uh, we're going to do that by training amazing uh, future physician leaders. We're going to bring better health care uh, to the state, and we're also going to advance uh, research and discover new solutions to help people solve their health care needs. One of the top priorities for students at the Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine is leadership skill development. One thing that's really special about our program and our students is that they're going to get formalized training in leadership. We're going to be the only medical school in the country where they not only graduate with an MD degree, but they'll also graduate with a certificate of leadership. This is the equivalent of four master level courses in leadership. Leadership is going to be such an important skill that they will need to navigate the healthcare environment of the future. With all the teamwork that's going to be necessary, with all the collaboration amongst different agencies and institutions to bring better health care, we need better physician leaders, and our students are going to be incredibly well prepared to take on those roles. One of the professors providing training to the next generation of doctors at the Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine is Associate Dean Dr. George Novin. I've done this for 40 years. Um, it hasn't changed. It's the same feeling I had at the very beginning. It's the reason that I'm hoping most physicians that are involved with our students want to do it. The joy of being able to pass something on. Uh, I wouldn't say it's wisdom. I would say it's experience. I'm not, I don't have a higher IQ than they do. All I have is a little more time under my belt. And if I can share what's been shared with me, I love giving back. So that is not the healthcare we are trying to emulate, right? As Novin explained, one of the first exercises undertaken by students was physical exams. So to get them ready for seeing patients, uh, we need to prepare them with some very, very rudimentary physical exam skills. Number one, introduce themselves. Number two, make sure they wash their hands before they examine their patients. Take a pulse. Most, they can take it several places, but we teach them to take it at the radial artery, which is at the wrist. And then after that, do a blood pressure measurement. From PowerPoint to physicals, it was a whirlwind first few weeks of class for medical students like Christina Street. When I think about medicine, I think that it's just this combination of the ability to lead others and educate your community and give service to the community and really just having the ability to change people's lives. Street is grateful to be able to receive her medical training in the Evergreen State. You know, I grew up in Washington and I always pictured myself staying here and so being able to practice in Washington and stay or hopefully practice in Washington um, will be such a great opportunity to be able to give back to that community that got me here. Multiple representatives from the Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine told me they had less than 30 days to recruit their first full class of students 
Nonetheless, they received over 600 applications. That's going to do it for this episode of TVW at Large. As always, I'm your host, Dave Martinson. Support for TVW at Large provided by the Washington Forest Protection Association and by the Arcora Foundation.